You can ring Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. You can ring Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Welcome to the Doug Bellcast. And now, here is your host, the star of Ring My Bell, Doug Bell. But where's my bell? Where's I gotta do? I gotta just give me a minute. I gotta finish this up. But where's my where's my bell? I can't find my bell. Fine. Oh. All right. Yeah. Just I'll be with you in a minute. Hey. Give yourselves a a, a big hand. Bellcast. <laughs> Bellcast. Evil bell. <laughs> Uh, crazy. I feel good. Um, I, I, I mean, I'm just, I'm sitting there, you know, but let's, what was it? Uh, 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 let's get, uh, let's get physical. I want to get some physical. I want to get some physical. It's funny, right? Uh, hey, don't, don't loop that and sell it. I'll have to get my original. <laughs> I was, uh, I went to a party a few years ago. Um, you know, I always bing, bing, bang. You know, there's always these cool parties. Jackie Nicholson would have them, Warren Beatty and stuff like that. And I was up there, you know, forget it. I was so hot on TV. If I wanted to go to a party, all I had to do was fucking just boom, like find someone who was going and, and could get me in. You know, it was so cool. So back around, it's about 2011. So ring my bell's been off the air uh, a little bit of time. Uh, but still, you know, we got the buzz happening. Boom, boom, bell walks in the room. Still a little, mag- you know, electricity. Um, so I go up to this, uh, up to this, uh, uh, this party. You know, a couple guys I know going up there. Um uh, Joey Rogan, another guy. So I just hopped in the back seat and, and Rogue, Rogue, Rogue goes, where you going, Bell? I go, come on, I just need a lift. And, you know, he's like, he's talking and talking and whatever. So we get to the the party and I'm like, Joey, just, I'm going to walk in like, me and you should talk. So I thought just, we'll walk right in together. Um, and he's like, hey, step back a little. I think because he was like, he didn't want me to overshadow like i got it like he was gonna go in there and uh he likes to talk about karate and stuff like that but anyway so uh i wound up getting into the into the the party it was uh some uh some weird like i think it was uh car russell and and uh and uh uh goldie hawn having a having a you know, bash or whatever. I think their kid's an actor or something. Um, so anyway, I go in there, I'm mingling. I mean, I'm hungry too. I haven't eaten in two days. Um, and I haven't taken a shower in a couple of days. Excuse me. I'm sorry about that. No. Edit, edit the gas. Edit, we got to edit the gas. Back. So party, uh, hors d'oeuvres. I'm eating your d'oeuvres and pigging out. Um, you know, I'm really eating them. And uh guy comes over to me, you know, because I'm sitting there, I'm eating, uh, you know, talking, I'm laughing, uh, I'm walking over to people, just mingling, ba 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 bell. I'm asking, hey, do you guys know anyone from the CW? Uh, I'm taking pictures with people. Uh, so anyway, some guy's like a house guy comes over to me and he goes, so, oh, what's your name? I go, Doug Bell, damn good. And back in those days, like when I, I would always wear the, the headband, uh, but I like to have my hands free to, to dance. So I always take the bell, I carry it like that. Boom, boom, boom. Like that, it's kind of like, and move around with it. It gets really, really annoying. Uh, 
but it would be easier because I could just walk and talk to people. Uh, so I had the belt like this in my headband. And I'm like, boom, 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 you know, dancing. Uh, and I keep saying, put on ring my bell. Put on ring my bell. Oh, geez. Oh, I forgot how loud that was. Uh, but I'm like, put on ring my bell. So they put on ring my bell. And everyone's talking and laughing. And ring, you hear like, you can ring. And I go, Sh shut up, shut up. I get on a mic. I'm like, yo, everybody, shut up. Whole place goes, uh, it goes uh, silent as the inside of a tomato can. And I go, ring my bell, baby, bring it back. Um, and it was the one of the guys in the back was a fan heard he got uh, uh, clapped. So I'm assuming he's clapping for this. But anyway, he's clapping because when he did this, guy comes over. So, sir, are you here with the with girl, Goldie and the curtain, don't you? And I'm like, well, if they got fucking TVs, they do. I was belligerent back then. I was crazy. Now I'm kind of mellow. But I was like, uh, you know, with the bell. And I go, if they got TVs, they got, you know, I said, whatever. Uh, and he goes, uh, who are you here with? I go, Joey Rogan is over there. Um, but apparently Joe had left. So the guy's like, could you wait outside, sir? I'm going to work some stuff out. And I'm outside and I'm, I'm the stand. I'm steamed like a dumpling. Believe me, steamed like a dumpling. I'm like, what is going on here? This political BS and you know, it's also political. You guys know that. Uh, so I see Mike Keaton come out, Mike Keaton. And I had met Mike Keaton one time before, uh, he was jogging. He was jogging in uh, Laurel Canyon. And I'm driving by. I beep the horn. Boom, boom, boom. I'm like, uh, I'm like, hey, you want, you want to ride to Pacific Heights? <laughs> that was one of his movies. I go, you want to ride to Pacific Heights? I beeped the horn. And he smiled. He waved. I circled back around again, you know. Uh, and uh, he, he runs by. Beep the horn again. And I go, make, just make sure you're jogging clean and sober. Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, this time, too, uh, and I'm like, I, I would go around again uh, uh, for a third movie joke, but he was gone. He, he must have ran home or maybe fell down a hill or something. I don't, I don't know where he was, but so I had met Mike Keaton before. So he comes out the door at this party. He's getting ready to leave. Uh, and he's got like three girls with him, three girls and some other like big shot uh, producer or whatever. So I go, Mikey, it's me, it's Bell. Uh, and he looks like I could tell he's trying to buy, he must probably have his glasses on. So I go, come on, man, Bell. And he goes, hey, yeah, Bell. So we're chatting a bit. He goes, so you, what are you doing out here? And I'm just like, ba ba ba. I go, look, man, shoot me a lift. Uh, I'm like, give me a ride back, uh, Mike, because uh, uh, I tell him, I think I, I said, like, that guy inside, I say, if I don't get out of here, I'm, I might, I might, I might fucking, uh, I might fucking hit him with something, I think I said. And the girls are getting concerned. Cause I'm like, y y someone's gotta hold me back. So I'm gonna fucking hit him with something. So I go, Mike, give me a ride. So Mike Heaton's he's like, wow, what kind of full car, sorry. Uh, and the girls are there and everything. So one of the girls had really big uh, chest. So I was like, hey, maybe the, uh, I go, maybe the Tatas can stay here and I can take their seat. You know, I figured, <laughs> uh, let me sit with the Tatas. <laughs> Uh, but uh, no one laughed, I guess. Uh, so she was like upset. She gets a little bit like emotional and walks away. And the producer guy's like, what the fuck? You I'm like, come on, fuck. let's just go, man. We'll talk. Let's just talk industry and business and gossip. Let's gossip, I said to him. So they get in the car, just hop in with him. And uh, Mike goes, I really can't. I'm like, come on, man. I'm like, you know, if it's Bell. 
and we're driving back towards uh uh we hope i saw it i gotta get a hotel i got nothing i got like a gym bag with me and uh he goes where are we where we met i don't remember we i remember you uh, and i'm like oh come on uh and I go, I go, dude, you're the best. I go, we we met. I go, how fuck? I had you cracking up. I go, I'm, I'm driving, and I'm beeping a horn. I'm yelling, uh, take you Pacific Heights. Uh, and he goes, oh god, you see, remember, remember the jokes. I'm like, oh fuck. I hope he doesn't start cracking up and like lose control of the car. So. I go, I came back. He goes, yeah, yeah. He goes, you came back. He goes, I was behind a bush. You came around six times. He goes, why'd you do that? He, it's, it's, it's inside the car now. It's like, it's, it's, it's silent as the inside of the man again. I go, dude, I had so many jokes. I go, I go, you're Batman, dude. I go, every other Batman fucking sucked. I'm like, I couldn't get through none of them movies except for you. And he starts, now he's warming up. And the girls are going, I told him he was the best. Uh, and I go, I go, you're, you're the only one I could watch. I go, uh, I go, uh, and the agent's back there. He goes, please continue, uh, Mr. Bell. <laughs> And I go, I guess I got the floor now. And I pull out the bell and I ring it. And Mike goes, please, not in the car with the bell. And I, uh, so I go, I told him the truth. I, I say, uh, I say, the mother Batman fucking sucked. I'm like, get, I'm, yeah, I'm not sober. I'm like, they fucking suck, dude. I'm screaming it. And one of the girls got scared. Uh, I'm like, yours is the only one worth the shit. Uh, and I tell him how much I loved it, and, and and I watched it like three times. And I said I tried to watch one of the other ones, and it was like fucking pile of shit. And I, cause I told him how much I loved him in that, and and like, uh, but with him being with Tommy Lee Jones and Jimmy Carrey, I say that's what made the movie because you guys. Sorry. Yes, gotta come out. Um, so I tell him, I go, you and, and, and Tom Jones and, and Jimmy Carey, I said, that was the fucking movie. The other ones are garbage. Uh, and it gets quiet in the car. It's quiet. Uh, you know, and uh, he goes, that wasn't my Batman. Because that was, uh, that was Valley Kilmer. And I'm like, whoa, I, I'm like, I, I, I say to him, I say, you're tugging my cock, Mike. You're tugging my cock. And the guy, the age goes, please, there's women here. And I go, oh, he's fucking tugging my cock. And he pulls a car over. And I go, you're, you, you, I go, dude, that was the best one. The other ones were shit, fucking garbage. It was you. And then he, he turns around, he grips the wheel. He goes, that wasn't me. And he fucking slams on the brakes. One of the girls hits her mouth. Loses two teeth. She hits her teeth on the dashboard. Takes my gym bag. He throws it down the canyon. So now I got to get out and get my fucking gym bag. I'm like, I hope you're going to wait for me, Mike. Uh, but yeah, I guess it was Valley Kilmer. Uh, I'm like, I didn't mean with yours wasn't good, dude. I'm like, dude, that thing you, I'm like when you, the Joker, I told him, I said, I know Jackie. I told him, this, this town needs an enema. I'm like, that's my favorite. <laughs> Uh, and I came back up. I went down to get my bag. It rolled down to Canyon Hill, and uh, I had to go to like some sticker bushes. And uh, there was a, a coyote, so I had to kind of wait till he cleared out of there. But I came back up about, about an hour, forty minutes. Uh, but he was gone. I thought he would might wait like in his shoulder with the people, but he was gone. It's funny too. Jimmy Carrey. Jimmy Carrey's so funny. Jimmy Carrey. I, you get me and him together. I mean, I, I like. I just. I would take the bell and I, 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 I seen Jimmy Carrey in, in New York. Uh, he was painting, he likes to paint, ba, 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 boom. Sits outside the house and he paints. I walk by him in New York and I, uh, I handed him the, uh, the bell. 
he's painting. And I go, look at that. Like, you got your brush. I got mine. I go, here you go. Why don't we trade? He goes, what? I go, uh, let's riff with the bell. You know, I was coked up. I was coked up. You know, I don't do a lot of coke. I was really fucking coked up. Uh, Because I'm holding, you know, I could tell when I'm coked up when I hold the bell like this. Like like this. I'm shaking it like that. See, because it doesn't shake right. Because I'm just too, like, this is the way to do it. But I was holding it. And whenever I'm, I'm, I'm doing like that, and it just doesn't shake good. Uh, so I come out, let's improv a little. And he goes, I'm trying to please, buddy. I'm trying to. And I go, well, let me tell you something. It, it looks like you're painting that picture. Hope it doesn't catch fire. I go, who am I? I go, who am I, Jimmy? I go, hope it doesn't catch fire. And uh, he goes, uh, so anyway, I tell him, I go, look, man, I'm all fucked up because of you. I tell him the Mike Keaton story. Uh, I try started to tell him. I go, you know, Mike Keaton, I'm at this fucking party. Uh, I say, I see gold. I called it gold horn. I, mean, yeah, I was tired, coked up. Uh, I go fucking gold horn and Kurt Russell throw this shit party. And as soon as I said that, phew, he's up. But I'm, I'm talking as he's going up. And I'm like, I'm fucking, I'm all into your Joker, Riddler. I call him Joker at first. Like, your Joker, Riddler shit. And fucking Mike Keaton throws my bag down. I, I started just telling him the whole fucking thing. Uh, and you know what I mean? And now you're going inside, I said. You know, I was doing my fucking... Uh, Fire Marshal Will impression. I go, why? It looks like you're going inside. I said, uh, <laughs> he was, uh, you know, he's a fucking conceited dude. Because I'm like a rubbery face too. I'm like, I could do what he does. Yeah, you know, I told him that. Uh, guys like me and Jimmy Carrey, like, uh, it's because everybody's like, oh, his face is face. But how hard is that to make faces? Like, I make faces. Like that, that's not hard to do. Like you put me in a movie and they go, just act crazy. Like that's what I'm like, just give me a movie. I'm fucking bell, go crazy. I'm, I fucking could do that. Right, looks like I don't know. You know, just like make fucking crazy uh, expressions. I could do that. But anyway, Jimmy Carrey was a dick, dude. He was fucked up. Uh, walked right up, took his easel, his fucking paints, boom. I walked by there every night for the next, say, six weeks, and uh, I didn't see him anymore. But I by seen him one other time outside of a um, outside of Froyo joint. So he's having some Froyo. He's with a girl, they're holding hands, eating Froyo. So I walk over, and I go, "I hope the Froyo doesn't catch fire." You know, I'm, I'm trying to crack him up and make up. I go, "Jimmy, let's make up." He goes, "Who are you?" And I remind him, and I'm like, I was telling you about that fucking piece of shit, Kurt Russell party and Mikey Key, and he fucking walks back in at TCBY, the fucking guy comes out, he's yelling at me, it's all bullshit, dude. It's, it's like, it's just fucking Hollywood. Uh, they reckon he's coming, where I'm just gonna get that Netflix show and tell all these stories. I just wanna tell the story. Come on, how good is that? Uh, all right, listen. Fly wild. Wait, no. I'm gonna... Fly wild and stay gold from Fire Marshal Will. You can ring Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. You can ring Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Hi, I'm Nigel Ung, creator of Uncle Roger, and welcome to the Haya Podcast, a comedy podcast about disappointment. You know the times in life where you just go Haya and you hate yourself a little bit? We are going to try to find the funny in that. I'll talk about the stuff that went wrong in my life, and we'll hear from our listeners about their crazy disappointment stories. Like this guy who was supposed to go to Disneyland, and then this happened. And then as soon as they've left me, I've actually been handcuffed. 
They've actually come around and said, what, you're going to Orange County Prison. Well, uh, from Disneyland to Orange County Prison, that is, uh, yeah bit of a disappointment if i have to say to find out how you got there make sure you listen to episode one when it drops so hit subscribe now on youtube apple spotify hit the subscribe button wherever you're getting this podcast whatever app or software or carrier pigeon or town center notice board just hit that bright colored subscribe button and i'll see you in the next episode